Morgan. Uh, I'm Lyndon Shubin. I'm Director of Education and Public Programs, organize our concerts. We are delighted to co-present the second concert in the 2023 series with our long-standing collaborators, Young Concert Artists. This is our 16th season of partnering, and we're thrilled to have an audience in Gilder Lehrman Hall, as well as those listening from home on the live stream. I'd like to thank Daniel Kellogg, uh, president of YCA, uh, the YCA staff, and the very talented artists uh, who are performing for us. While you are here this afternoon, I hope that you'll take an opportunity to see our exhibition, Uncommon Denominator, Nina Contradurian at the Morgan, that's in the second floor gallery, as well as visit J. Pierpont Morgan's library, where you can see a number of music manuscripts and other works from our collections. Uh, this coming Friday and in March, uh, we're opening three new exhibitions on the artist Claude Gillot, George Kondo, and Piranesi. Uh, we have numerous concerts, exhibition, and collection-related and family programs coming up this spring season, so do check out our website for information, and if you're not already members, I encourage you to join the Morgan and uh, support our activities throughout the year. It's now my pleasure to introduce uh, Dan Kellogg to tell us about the artist, and if you can please silence your cell phones. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lyndon, and thank you to the Morgan Library uh, and Museum for this long-standing partnership. We're very grateful. First, I'd like to recognize YCA founder, Susan Wadsworth. Susan, hello. <laughs> Special thanks to our sponsors for this concert series at the Morgan, Mark Goody and Paul Secre. Paul is our board chair, so thank you, Mark and Paul. Before I tell you about the two artists on the program today, I want to tell you about two upcoming Young Concert Artists concerts. We will be back here at the Morgan on March 15th with a noon or lunchtime concert featuring bass baritone William Sokolov. We hope you'll join us for that. And on March 9th at Merkin Concert Hall at 7.30 p.m. will be the inaugural performance of YCA on tour, where five of the artists from our roster We'll be performing together for a mixed chamber program with songs, a piano trio, old music, new music. It's gonna be a wonderful concert. We hope you'll join us. Sometimes you come to a concert and you know exactly what you're going to hear. And sometimes you come to a concert and you sort of have no idea exactly what you're going to encounter. Today we have two instruments that are unusual in the classical music world, accordion and saxophone. And Han Ji Wong on accordion and Stephen Banks on saxophone are honestly two of the greatest living performers on those instruments in the whole world in the classical music arena. They came on the YCA roster separately, and our work is to discover amazing young talent and help them begin careers. We also have the pleasure of doing some musical matchmaking. And we, a few years ago, thought, wouldn't it be amazing to put together Hanji and Steven? They have such interesting, a similar mission to be an ambassador for their instrument. They play a wide range of repertoire. They're passionate about the music they play. We have been hearing them rehearse. It really is an extraordinary sound, and it's a, it's a delight to uh, share this with you today. So I hope you enjoy, and please welcome Hanji and Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to this concert. I'm very glad and also very grateful to be here again. So um, a lot of people after the concert always talk about the accordion or saxophone actually in association with either jazz or folk music. But today we are going to present to you a program. We are going to do a lot of baroque music 
and also contemporary music. So the first piece we are going to start with the G minor recorder sonata in uh, written by Handel. And I'm pretty sure he would never imagine his music would be very adapted <laughs> to this two instruments. So we hope you will enjoy it. Thank you.
everyone the next two pieces I'm going to play is the two original works which is written for the accordion by the Danish composer Martin Luce and he has written a lot of pieces for the accordion but these two pieces actually it was new released by him in the recent years and there was um, described about this winter and autumn season during the all year in Scandinavia and there's also beautiful poetry lines was written before the pieces, so I'd like to read for you. Glittering between drops of rain, my skin exposed to the last light of autumn. And that another one is dark drops trembling in the wind, mud and dirt, encapsulated in cocoons of light, reflecting the moving sky, a winter's tale taking the last breath before dawn. Hope you enjoy it.
and thank you so much for being here. Um, my name is Stephen Banks. Um, this next piece on the program is uh, really a discovery um, for both Hanji and I, which is really exciting. You know, one of the great things about being on the roster of young concert artists is that you get to collaborate with other amazing musicians. And so with this particular piece, we sort of came to it together. And this is um, our, our first time discovering it together. Uh, it's by a Polish uh, composer uh, who is also an accordionist. Um, which I think is very cool because throughout the piece, um, he really uses the accordion to its fullest potential. There are places where we're matching timbre, there are places where we're not even making any notes, but we're trying to create air sounds together. Um, there, there are all sorts of interesting uh, compositional techniques that are used in this piece. Um, the, the last thing that I'll say is just that it's actually in four sections. Um, and the first one is water, the second is air, then earth, and then fire. Um, but one thing that we've been, you know, wondering about in our rehearsals is like, how do these things really connect? You know, the first movement to, you know, on, per, on first hearing didn't exactly feel like water. So you, maybe you have to think about it again to see, you know, really what he was going for. So we hope you enjoy the elements.